Oh yeah, give me that. And give me this one too. I don't know what it is about having the uh, the ape's vitality bar completely full. It's so satisfying. Oh, wait, wait. There was a cat here a second ago. Can I bring you in to get those piggies? That would do me a big favor. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. There was a snake here as well. The only real thing I'm doing right now is I've just taken the, uh, the newborns out to try and get some XP. Show them the ropes, like what's safe to eat, what's where's safe to go and stuff like that. This area isn't that right now, but I'm going to show you guys some footage because after the previous episode, I did go ahead and copy what we did, which is uh, with the generations and stuff. The only thing that I did different was I pushed it a little bit more because I uh, I eventually took the advice of a lot of people in the comments saying that I should do the uh, the water tactic where you're just walking back and forth to try and increase that dexterity and get the, uh, the skill level, which I did. And then straight after that, I don't know if that was by a, a stroke of luck, one of the, the babies had a lower leg strength, I think it was, mutation. And that's basically left us with something that we can pump, which I think is how we walk on two legs. If it's not, then it's totally fine because I've got a lot that I want to get done today. Is this? Oh, yes. I was looking for this anyway. You guys already know, we're getting the chopper. I also found something else out with the, uh, with the mud, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Right, let's try and get this done. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a chopper, and I'm going to drop this one too. I'm actually a bit... <laughs> I've never seen that before. Are they... <laughs> Are they actually doing that to stay away from the cat that's in the area? I need to find an area where there's, like, thick mud. Back over near these trees, there was a good spot. Oh, there we go. There it is. I didn't actually realize that you could scan this stuff. Look at that. It's like a muddy area, and I think I can pick it up, so I wanted to wait till I was with you guys in order to do it. There we go. And inspect it. That is mud, right? That's not like... Yeah, that's mud. So I thought it was like a, a different rock or something. New tool discovered. Mud. Can we... Put that all over us? What does that do? Maybe cooling? Yeah, there we go. Applying mud shields against heat and bleeding injuries. And reduces smell. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Of course, why would I not think of that? Oh, somebody said, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm such a smooth brain at times. Okay, let me do it again. Somebody said pretty early on in this series, there is a mechanic in this game that is straight out of the Predator movies. And I was like, wait, no, you're just saying that at this point, memeing me, because I mention it all the time. And that's it, obviously. That's when Dutch covers himself in, uh, in mud to mask himself from the Predator. And obviously that's what we're doing now, to mask ourselves from any Predator scent. And I don't know if it's going to help with uh, visual, but... It says it's going to help with the smell. Like, these areas here? Oh, yeah, it's these. There we go. So we get, Wait, what was that? That was just the effects of it. That's so cool to know. I mean, better late than never, right? Let's just keep going around. I think we're going to head back towards where we were in the previous episode near the savannah spot. I found, like, an extra berry or something after I left you guys. So I think there's more to discover. Oh, that reminds me as well. I just seen the bird down there. You guys did say you can actually have an interaction with things like the gazelles and the horses. I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try. When we uh, when we were mentioning the previous episode about the animations and things, there was a lot of you guys that said you can actually have the um, the animations with them. God, that looks so good. <laughs> so easily distracted. But yeah, I'm going to try that. All right, let's put this down for a second. And, ooh, <laughs> look at that water. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the slow zoom as well. Don't do that. And we're good. Right. Give me the chopper back. I'm going to try and get close to these guys. Come on. <sighs> what about you? Oh, stupid bird. Okay, <laughs> let's go around this way. It is cool to see them, though. That's the uh, that's the bird that I found when uh, I was, like, adrift in the water, just floating helpless. It might have been that one over there, but I have seen them before. Right, let's get ourselves a stick. It's time to get a weapon. Ooh, thought that was a cave. All right, here we go. Straight over. 
Uh, nice and simple. I should let you guys know as well, because we have evolved a little bit further into the future, we have changed settlement, obviously, because it gives you a random location. We're back over there again at the... I think it's called the Kapok? I can't remember the name of it. I don't know if it's going to tell me either. Remember? Well, either way, you guys will remember it when I was trying to look for the original spot to, uh, to move the clan to. And that was the place. Well, we're back there again now, although... I think if I can level up all this brain juice and then we can unlock something that helps us walk on two legs, I'm going to do two things. The first, I guess, generation of ape that have that, one of them is getting the name of Caesar. <laughs> it just has to be a thing. I've been wanting to do that for a while since we can rename stuff. And the other thing is I'm moving them over to the two siblings waterfall because that's my favorite spot. I've wanted to do it for a minute, but... I think it'd be cool moving throughout the uh, the jungle and all the woodland areas and even the savannah, probably the edge of the savannah, with the uh, with the group possibly walking on two legs. I, I don't know if that's a thing either just for me or for the group, so I guess we'll see. And... Got ourselves a little snack. Nice. Altar. Get that off of there. It's so cool that you can do that. The only thing is, like, picking stuff up, you have to be dead on it. <laughs> or it doesn't pick it up. We should get a buff from this as well. The Venom stuff. Are we going to get that? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at us stacking everything. Nice. Right, I don't want to go too close to that edge round there because we all know what's laying at the bottom of it. Those hippo eggs. <laughs> Not a word, okay? <laughs> this meme. This meme has gone way too far. I fully deserve it. Oh, what's this? What? What did we just do? What, why was that like animation so sick? Oh, there it is again. That's so controlled. We're so slick with that now. It's not like a... Uh, how would you describe that? It's not as chaotic when we're, we're taking out the, uh, the the animal now. Can I... Yeah, okay. I, c I can butcher that too. It's, like, it's almost like our ape is like... Shh, 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 and then just takes it out. Nice, quick, clean. Can I eat that? I should be able to. Oh, is that a cat there? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that's the cat that we came across last time. So, oh, I wonder if... Because last time I came through this area, when I was looking at that one, I wandered through that bush over there, and you saw it. One of them tried to sneak attack me from this way. So I wonder if I go here... If I can get eyes on the other one and then bring it back over there. Because, again, I'd still love to see them fight. There looks like... Is that a feeding ground there? That is a feeding ground or some kind of... Yeah. This thing. So there's one up there. That's not... Oh, there's a snake there. Ooh. I can't miss this opportunity. That's so close. Come on. Come down here, cat. Come on. Come on. Make it quick. Oh, you got to be quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Yep. Now, I've not tried to mess around with these guys while they've... Yeah, there we go. Look. So, are you just resting now after your big old snack? So, I should be able to take you down now, then, because you're, like, really vulnerable. Ooh. Not like that, though. I think I just broke the stick. Let's get over this way. Ooh. Chopper. Let's do it again. Oh, whoa. whoa! What was that? Oh, no. He broke my leg. Oh, no. Okay, this snake is no joke. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Okay, we'll let it go. I think I, uh, I live to fight another day with that one. Did I drop the chopper too? Yeah, I did. I see it there. Okay, right. This is what we're going to do. 
I'm going to try and stay somewhat around this cat. Oh, I'm never going to be able to chase him with the broken leg. Come on, heal. If I can keep eyes on him. I want to show you guys something that I stumbled across. And that is... Oh, there we go. Right, we're back. Actually, I should be doing this, right? I actually stumbled across the fact that you can take out the predators with this bone. I thought it was more like a knockback effect that you get. Oh, it's miles gone. It's all the way in that direction. All right, let's go this way then. I'll find another one. But I accidentally found out by just dumb luck that a cat came in. I smacked the living hell out of it with one of these bones. And then it turned into one of the, uh, the kill animations. So it can be done. I just don't know if it's like a common thing. But I'm going to make sure I try and show you guys because it's very, very cool as well. Like <laughs> the fact that it's something that we haven't seen yet. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, right. Can I? Nope. 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 Let's not mess with it. Oh, don't. Oh, oh wait. Got a bite in anyway? Okay. Yeah, go back into your cave. Oh, that's so cheap from you, pig. Oh, that's so cheap from you. Wait, wait, wait. Did you run into the cave? Oh, yes. Please. No! Get the pig! Okay, I've, I've got to take a hit in order to get the hit in, I guess. Get the pig that went in there. Where did it go? I can't risk it. I, my, my dopamine is so low. Oh, no! No! Come on! Oh, it's not been like that for a while. Okay, yeah, I pushed my luck there. We're all right, though. We're okay. I should still have everything, too. Yeah, we're good. Let's just get away from the area for a second. Oh, this effect is horrible. Let's find some water and drink up. Any snails around? No. All right, I'll find some water. Be back with you guys in a second. Oh, of course, there'd be a cat right next to the area. Oh, go, go, go. Run away, please. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's just my luck. Right, let's drop this. There's my bone right there. So hard to see with this effect. Scoop. And get all that water up inside us. Oh, there we go. I always feel calmer here anyway, because this is like my favorite spot. So we should be good. What? Ooh, oh, God, cat, I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. It has been non-stop today. Okay, right, switch back to this one. I was just taking a couple of minutes to jump in that tree, get some sleep or some rest for a couple of hours, and then I came over here. I was getting cold, so we ate the red plants, which gives us that cold boost and obviously gives us some food. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're absolutely exploring down there. But yeah, it just comes across that every single cat around us so far just wants to take our head off. Like, none of them are satisfied with the pigs, the snakes, anything else in the area. We look like easy game. We're proving that we're not, though. And drop. That is a serious way down. There's a, uh, there's a stone around here, too. Is it close by? I really struggle with these. I don't... Wait, I say that. Is it here? It's around here, isn't it? <laughs> I can feel it. It's close. I was just about to say, I really struggle with finding these. Like, zoning in on where the, where the chime's coming from. Even if I do this, too. Like, try and... Uh, oh, no, it's this one, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Listen. I really struggle with trying to hear where it's coming from. And I don't think it gives you any kind of indication either. I'm not too worried about finding them. It's just that, yeah, this is one thing that if you see it in the episodes, I never go for them. Unless I uh, find them or come across them, then that's why I struggle finding them. Oh, shit! No! Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get my uh, my little friend. Come here. F follow me. 
Wait, analyze. Okay. Can I switch to you instead? Oh, these little guys are going to be terrified. No. Oh, I think... I think this might be it for them. I am so, so incredibly far away. This is like the worst thing that could have happened. I honestly thought I could make it across. I was slipping off the top of it. And I was like, okay, let's jump across and try and get to the tree. And oh, it just, yeah, went terribly wrong. Oh, of course, I'm going to find it now. Is it here? Oh, wait, this might not be a bad thing. Because if I do find the, the rock, this might make them calm. Oh, are we good? How do we get out, though? Okay, so that's like a little cave area. We're not super worried, I guess. This has definitely thrown a spanner in the works of what I had planned for today. I was basically going to move around the savannah area, discovering a lot more stuff, get all that brain juice, and try and get the skill for walking on two legs, and move to Two Siblings Waterfall, because I think that's, like, a, such a beautiful area, like I was mentioning before. And then <laughs> this has just completely turned everything on its head now. Now it's a rescue mission for the two babies. And... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no, don't get caught in the wall, little one. Come on, come on. There's a little rock there that I know you can stand on. Nice. Honestly, if I can keep one of them alive, then that will be a big achievement. I... Th this one's following me back here, I think. Oh, there we go. Okay. Progress. And get up here. All right, we've 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 done a little bit. See, I can kind of shimmy through that area there if I can get a bit of distance here. I really don't know where the other one is. Just going to keep it moving, though. Eyes on that stamina. Any areas that we can get a break, we're going to... Oh, that's so high. Oh, there's a little bit of a grassy area. If we're going to fall, I want to fall on that. Come on. And... Right, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. I think we might be near the top here. The problem is... I actually don't know if I've got to find my entire way back. So, I remember at the beginning... Where it said... F oh, I thought that was something. It's a log. Right, where's my brother? Oh, no, I don't hear him. Oh, no! 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 Not like this. You don't... Don't do that to me. No, please! Oh, no, I'm perfect for you as well. No! Leave me alone! I had to say it. I had to say... <laughs> it's the worst-case scenario. Of course it can always get worse. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. No! You're not doing it! Leave him alone! Leave him! Ah! Come on! No! Is he dead? Come on! No! Leave him! Come on! Run! No! Oh, I, I don't think... Ugh. I think it's me or him. Come on. Okay, maybe I can make him jump off the edge. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and make him jump off the edge. No! Climb! All the stamina in the world. I can't keep this up. Don't look back. Don't look back. I just gotta go. I think it's either me or him. I can't. <laughs> I've done everything I can think of, guys, and it's just burning my stamina. I can't pick up weapons as far as I know. 
I'm just a little baby trying to get to safety. And as much as I want to save him, I really, really can't. Oh, this is killing me. No. Just know I feel terrible that I've left him. I've survived, but I feel really, really bad. Is there any place where I can get to safety here? I remember the beginning saying you can hide or you can get back to your settlement. And I know you can find, obviously, those little hiding spots with the rocks. Wait, what was that? There. Okay, right. I've got to find that again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another ape over here that fast, but we'll see. I think it's going to be the end for that little guy down there. there, there was all, it was a simple choice. Yeah, glad member dead. Oh, my God. And the bad thing about that is, oh, I think Rue didn't have any spontaneous mutations anyway. I know that sounds really, really, like, cold, but <laughs> it's, like, the best of a bad situation. I think this little guy does. So if we can hide in here, hide. Oh, look at him. Okay. Let's do this then. Re Wait, what? What's going on here? Wow, you're really hurt. Okay, I took care of that eight back there, at least whatever I could. But yeah, the, the vitality pool on him is really low for such a young ape. I don't really understand it. So if someone knows the reason why that was, then please let me know. We are on a rescue mission right now. And as you can see, I am an elder ape. The reason for that is I remember a lot of you guys saying really early on that the elders don't really have that fear of the unknown. So I'm going to put that to the test now and see what happens. All right, big guy, get your breath back. Come on. We'll refuel when we get chance. If there's some food and some water, I'll definitely take it on board. But right now, we just got to close that distance. I don't know how long this little guy has left. He's all alone and he's hiding under a rock. He must be absolutely terrified. He saw his brother get eaten as well. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Oh, oh come on. Come on. That stamina's not looking too good. Come on. This area here and stop. Breathe. Big breaths. Come on. Last big push. And then it's a straight shot. Come on. Come on. Oh, that rock would be so incredibly hard to grip. Come on. And there we go. Okay, right. What we got in this area? We've got coconuts. Now, does an elder have the strength to shake a tree? What am I talking about? He's an ape. Of course he does, yeah. There we go. Shake it. <laughs> nice. And we'll grab that. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. First time as well. Oh, and the, the stick wasn't even stripped either. Oh, yes. There we go. That is revenge. Oh, yes. We might be old, but we got all that experience. We can navigate. Look how brutal he looks as well. He's like, yeah, there's no messing with me. I've seen things. <laughs> That's what he sounds like as well. Where's the coconut? I dropped it over here in like a blind panic while I was trying to uh, grab a stick. Replenished a little bit of that vitality for this guy. So we're just going to keep it moving. I would really like to fill it up so it's not super, super low. Because I know I'm going to run into another cat or a snake or something. Especially how far out the... Oh, no, wait a minute. It should just be over this hill. Yeah, because I was right next to sibling falls and then where do we go from there did I, did I stay in that tree i stayed in that tree there because that's where the uh, the little cat area was and it might have been that cat that we just tangled with oh i can hear him i can hear him i'm coming little guy hold on i'm almost there okay can't quite see him yet a little bit further on we're tired but if this is the last act this ape does before we move forward in time, what a hit. What is that down there? What's in the water down there? Ooh, come on, come on. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. No, no, not like this. Oh my God. Stop, stop, stop. Get your breath back. Oh. All the broken bones, all the cold buff that we can get. Taking on some extra food as well, just to fill out everything that we need to. Are we good now? Are we satisfied? 
I think we're good. I think it's more the uh, the rest that he needs. Switch them over. There's the snake. All right, let's do this. Come on, come on. We can get that snake out of here. Come on. Come here, snake. No, come here, snake. Don't think... Okay, the snake has got a stick in it. So look at that. <laughs> the snake's got a stick in it. I don't think we got any more trees. I'm coming, little guy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, listen to him. He's so panicked. All right. There we go. All right, rescue mission successful. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to find. I do actually see. Want to see where the uh, the little guy was that got took out by the uh, the cat? All right, we can get some sticks there. That's good news. The snake is still around this area. I th I'm going to try and take it out if I can. Oh, there it is! Oh, <laughs> yes! Showing the little guy that we don't need to fear everything. Nice. Right. What we're going to do then is go back. Okay, I, I guess that snake was only defending its nest. I didn't see that there. Why did that sound? Oh, I, I thought I heard that. Oh, no way. Oh, yes. This guy is insane! That's the first one I've taken down! And I had no idea they could come around. Am I really high up? Maybe I am. Maybe it's like because the jungle level is further down there or something. I took a bird down though. Alright, let's let's inspect it. This elder is insane though. Everything he's done, he's been flawless at. I mean, we've taken everything. I say that. I don't I don't want to, like, jinx it now, but. All right. I think what I might do then is. Can we. Yeah, we can. I'm not even joking, you guys. I've been here the entire time, and I'm devouring every single bit of meat from this bird. I don't even think he needs. Oh, actually, I think he might. Do yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's still hungry, but I would have done it anyway, just to prove a point. This guy is a machine. And he's probably my new favorite so far, just because of like how everything has just worked out. The whole rescue mission, and then have we just picked up the? Uh, oh, yeah, he already knows. Stupid bird. And oh, the flies as well. I've not seen that yet. I think there's a way. Let me just try this, because I know I did this before. Can't you carry on the that, like the butchering, and then maybe you can get another bone from this? Let me quickly see this. Oh, so you actually get more food from it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not going anywhere yet. <laughs> I'm eating all of this. I knew I heard another one. Okay, so another one did come in. But I got two bones from this guy, so we're going. Whoa, look at that drop down there. Okay, yeah, no, we're not going that way. So although this area was like... A real good area for us to stop off. I don't think we should be staying here because we're just going to keep tangling with those eagles. So let's just make our way down. Okay, so let's see where we are now. That I love this guy. Look at him rocking those two bones as well. Jewel wielding the two bones. And these things will never break either. I think the only thing I've got to watch out for is like what we just seen where, where I will drop them if I have to go into some kind of dodge or something like that. What I do need to do though, where are we right now? Hold on. I'm so turned around. Where are we living? That's our home. And I do kind of need to go back that way, but... All right, let's just scan these. Can't help myself. What I could really do with doing right now is... Let's just get up this way. If I can find some of the grass, like this stuff, I could do with making a bed real quick, because I want to see how far along the, uh, the neural path is. That is a new one. 
and matured neuron deep sleep when sleeping in a sleep spot less time is needed to fully recover okay yeah we're definitely gonna get that there should be one up here oh there we go right matured neuron neural growth is complete bipedalism yes okay we've got it once connected bipedalism will be acquired and walking on two legs will be permanent this couldn't have gone any better guys like i mean obviously we fell down you know what i'm gonna put it down to you know when we fell down it was because of the mud <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. The mud made us slip off the edge and just die. Okay, there, there, I've said it. It's the mud. Right, let's get bipedalism because I need to lock this in 100%. Oh, bipedalism is now acquired. Oh, yes. Okay, right, so that's opened up. Whoa, what's the other ones then? So that one is carrying endurance. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get that as well. Because no doubt I'll need that the, uh, the more we evolve. Moving while carrying an item in both hands requires less energy. Yeah, it does. It saps a lot as well. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, so now that I've got this locked in and I'm kind of taking care of the omnivorous stuff down here, I've just got to unlock a lot more stuff by doing more of it, I guess. I basically want my clan to be able to look after themselves whenever we move to a new area. The idea being is that we move from spot to spot, even after like evolution or even just during exploration. I really, really want there to be a way where we can just move together. And then if there's any threats in the area, we can take care of them either together or they can do that on their own. Now, I think it might be like these ones here. Some of the ones that I don't have. And I think that might be more mutations. But if I'm wrong with that and I need to go down a certain path more to unlock more things, please let me know. Really filling this thing out now as well. Okay. So does that mean, now that I've unlocked this, oh my, look at us. And how fitting is this as well? The elder ape that recovered one of the next generation has actually walked. Oh, you know, this is Caesar. Of course, this is Caesar. Our first ape to walk on two legs, obviously doing the rescue mission. Why did I ever doubt this guy? Is there a way for me to change his name in here? I don't think there is, no. He's known as Yak right now, but to everybody else, he's known as Caesar. When we get back over to the uh, settlement, I'll definitely change his name. Oh, horse, please stay there. I'm a little bit worried about this, because, like, the feel of movement now is, has completely changed. Watch oh, the water go. Nope. Yep, there's one of them. All right, let's get around this way. I'm going to try and, like, Shoo him back into that direction. Hopefully the rocks will do most of the work. I've just, I've kind of got to make my way around the outside here. Here we go. Oh! Oh, no way! Ambulation matured. So you can actually have interactions with them as well, like you guys said. We're seeing all the things right now. Hard bones can be used to strike the African horse. Oh, yes. Right, can we actually put ourselves or get ourselves some mud? Because if I am going to make my way back, it'd be really, really helpful not to have predators all over my scent. So let's just leave that there. Let's grab some of this. Apply that. Oh, guys, this is so cool now. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm so happy that we got this. Now let's put a little bit more on us. I don't know if it helps, but <laughs> it's just for effect, right? I just saw this over in the corner of my eye. Come on, kitty cat. Come over this way. Come on. Over this way. Come on. Oh, get out of the way. Come over to the front of the snake. We're going to get two today. Come on. Come on, we're right there. Come on. Come on. There it is. Oh, so we've seen the snake take the cat, and now the cat has got the snake. Okay, I guess that's fair. Let's leave it to feed. Just walking off on two legs. It's so weird, but it's so awesome at the same time. But yeah, guys, I think this is where we're going to leave it. If you do know of a way for me to pump the skills so I can get pretty much all of our settlement ready with sticks and weapons so that we can move throughout any part of this land together and any threats that we come across they can basically take care of themselves along with us obviously helping as well 
if there's a way that I can pump that, I don't know if there is, but if there is, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know. But for now, this is where we're going to end. Seems kind of fitting as well. This is where we ended from the last episode. But if you are enjoying it, guys, please drop a like. It really, really does help me out. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.